Now, there are other approaches to teaching computer education than just in our traditional schooling systems. There are a range of alternative schooling systems, such as the Steiner schools and Montessori schools. There's also homeschooling, uh, distance education. But one of the key ones that you may come across is the International Baccalaureate. There are quite a few schools that are using that particular program, which is an alternative curriculum. And some schools have the International Baccalaureate as well as the Australian curriculum um, within their schools. And so you may find yourself in a school that is teaching that particular program. It has some differences, but essentially from a computer education perspective, it's not particularly different to what we are doing in the Australian curriculum. But there are other approaches that are important, um, particularly around flexible learning and distance education. There are a number of schools where they may not have the resources to um, do digital technologies appropriately, particularly in Year 11 and 12, um, where they use distance education. Um, sometimes they may have students go from their school to another school that does have those facilities or that, those teachers. So there's a fair amount of flexibility available. Now, industry has also become quite involved in this space, offering a whole range of um, certifications and programs, generally online. But a lot of schools have um, incorporated those. Many schools, particularly in years 10 to 12, have um, vocational education programs embedded in their schools, including a number of IT-based ones. So there's a quite a complex mix of other programs other than just digital technologies and the senior subjects. So they're very much individualised to particular schools, but you do need to be aware of them because you'll come across them throughout your careers. There's also the aspect of self-study. With the proliferation of online courses and online programs, some of your students may be studying computing using these approaches in addition to studying computing with you in your class. And in some cases, they may be considerably ahead. So you may need to consider how to incorporate that and accommodate students' own self-study. Um, that again is quite complex and very much individualized to particular schools and indeed individual students, but it is becoming more and more common.